And set. OG? It's not bad. It's not bad. But what about my Fanatic fans? Where are my Fanatic fans at? Bit of a different situation this time around. Oh, yeah. If we is. get to the point where the DJ chants start coming out again, girls love hitting their fissures, love hitting their lifts. It's all about the control. Trialing on trialing action. A little bit of a throwback here. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I'm not convinced OG is going to be able to win this aggro trialing lane they've got going out. The toss back. Genuel is taking a lot of damage, and he doesn't have level two yet, so there's no Shadow Rump to protect him. Lamar takes the first blood. Fnatic thought they were going to be able to kill Lamar. Turns out, goes the other way around. Denied. OG late to the trialing and still getting that first blood. A little bit of mischief dodge, a little bit of fairy fire action, but still. Nice toss back. That's this is one. what I was expecting. Toss back underneath tower into He's stuns. I feel like this is really difficult for OG to, to deal with, uh, which means they probably want the creep wave to push in, which it is going to. They've got double range creeps uh, going out there. Trying to get into a dying is pretty damn tough. Exactly. But this hero just destroys melee carries on the lane. Really trying for this one. They do manage to get the avalanche the into the detection. toss back. There it is. The Bramble's going to be able to work through the refraction as well. Kill. So this is a really nice kill if they can get it, but it's going to take a little bit more, and the Tombstone's already out. They want to fight into that one, and they don't have Shadow Rump. Jay Wells is going to be tossed back again. Fanatic go for an aggressive maneuver, but instead find themselves to be the victim of OG. This is worst case scenario. Beastmaster, not OG. Don't want to give him that time. Using the catapult mid, level six time for Dragon Knight. Six minute rune. Everybody looking for it. They're gonna try and punish him with the snap toss the back. Coil. Does it snap the coil? It does. Straight to the bramble as well. Really nice combo there from Fnatic, showing they've got something still that they can do, even Radiant's though their previous moves of aggression were a bit stymied. They uh, still able to do something here. Of course, Amar had <laughs> nice use of the there towards the end. Palace stuns himself. Maybe man up. Palace may have to just uh, leave lane. For a pre-level six, which is gonna feel really bad, or maybe he'd go on. Oh, <laughs> trying to have Palos defend mid while they oh, make the auto move. Well, that's not gonna go well. Not with the two supports rotating in. Palos, he's gonna have to run down the river away from this tombstone. Turn around, stuns up BZM. It's gonna be kind of a close call. They're gonna have another round of decay and a shot from BZM, and Palos is gonna fall. Stalling them up a decent amount forces the tomb, dr tomb drop. Yeah, we'll if I know anything, yeah. Amar Excellent. has the stamina higher than any player I've met. This guy plays 10 pubs a day and blames everybody <laughs> and all of them. He's used to it, you know? <laughs> that guy is max energy all the time. Exactly. Palos is undying is being a little annoying, and they're going to make sure he's punished for a move like that. No. Is he That's gonna be fine? Maybe not. Amar's gonna show up. They're gonna get the chainsaw off of that. The avalanche might help Amar, but he cannot jump to the other side of that cliff. Oh. Palos was able to finish up the creep wave, but he got his skeleton stolen, man. <laughs> oh <laughs> he, no. He really just wanted the skellies. BZM and a double damage, sweep it in from behind, get a catch, DJ. Follow up here from Amar. He's gonna drop the Wukong's man. That'll easily be enough damage to get that kill. And nobody from Fnatic is gonna rotate to stop this one. So that top tower is probably forfeit, though the Beastmaster is going to move towards mid. This They're going to spot collapse. you. You managed to silence him. See the silence last long enough. He has to jump away before Radiant's the telekinesis is tower. there. Is they do top. have all the creeps coming in from the Beastmaster. The on the other side as well. Great. One last sweep, and they do manage to get a jabs. Claims the last hit, though. The mid creep wave does die, so they didn't get any tower. All three of their cores in same form to the point no where jabs is here. They're going to spot uh, him. Someone's getting caught by these. Radiance bottom tower At this point, would you say, like, uh, Fnatic, these deaths are sort of expected in oh. some way? They just kind of, like, have to aggressively shove out lanes and then make moves like this, where they're going to try and catch the Undying. Not the easiest kill in the world, but a good toss back snap of the coil does do efficient job. Lamar doesn't want to give him the space. Oh, barely gets out that fear before the... Not too thick, he get the stun. The follow up there, the bounce strike, and there's the chain stun. And Armel, well, he doesn't really have much to jump on. He barely gets ready to the side. A two man down for Palos. What an entrance from the. And there you 
have it. Paolo really Radiant likes to get a toss back here and disjoint the fight. They're gonna go for it off the glyph. They're gonna go for the Wukong's command. See if they can change stun the Alchemist inside. That nice toss back from DJ. Save. There goes the Terrorize as well. They've got the stuns going out onto the TA, but it looks like Palos maybe wants BTM Palos instead. Threatened. They're gonna go for the DK. Now turn back to that Templar Assassin. Stuck and then the just through OG. One by one. Your tombstone means nothing. Your tower doesn't mean a damn. They just run down these Radiant heroes with the Alchemist. Lost Sight gets the vision, stuns himself, but it doesn't matter. The Rubik's dead as well. Four dead on the side of OG. They thought they could defend that tower against Fnatic, but they Radiant's thought wrong. Fnatic attack. with the ward behind the tower. The Hawks doing all the work there. The toss from DJ, absolutely perfect conceptually for how Fnatic wants to take this fun. The question is, is there going to be another toss back save? Is there going to be a roar interrupt? He jumps in. Amar goes Bounce straight out. to the BKB. They're going to try and blow up the Beast Master, trying to lay the damage into him, but it's a little bit slow for the Wukong's command. They ensure it pretty easily with the Tombstone out as well. This part of the fight, this area is OG's, but Fnatic are outside of it. DJ and they're going to the back. They're going to go back in, perhaps? No. DJ. He was behind them, but it looks like the rest of Fnatic called it quits. They said it's not worth it. Let's not fight into this tombstone any longer. The trade-off was not gonna go. Or sorry, Armel picks it up. Amar does not go for it. In fact, he's gonna be maybe get caught. BKB turn around, but he's not gonna get a kill. He's just gonna. Oh, he can't TP. Doesn't have it. 30 seconds to the three. He's here in a second, but the coil catches him. Perfect timing from Armel. Timed this perfectly with the BKB waiting for out. And now there's still a fight going on inside the base with BZM. Oh, one stable concoction going out from the Rubik, keeping this Alchemist controlled for now. The Terrorize's gonna go and push the Templar Assassin back at the same time. But the Range Barracks is already dead. Powell's thinking about going for more. The Tombstone's on out with no Amar and no Tombstone. Much of the team fight is just gone here for OG. This is Rax for sure. Radiance top barracks. He just still up for attack. two seconds. Chemical Rage gonna wear out, but I don't think Pals is afraid of much here. No Wukong, Whoops. no Tombstone, no ability Radiance to pull this out deep into their base gone. either. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Rax and there's no reason to let up. Yeah, there's Radiance still two minutes left on this age. Exactly. I mean, if you didn't stop them before, how are you going to put together the team fight to stop him now? All right, there's some damage. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely coming out. Okay, second life. This time he'll have the chemical rage as well. But Fnatic, Amar is coming back up. I feel like this could be an opening for OG. They chain stun it right, pull the Alc back in with a lift. They do have the burst. Keep it alive. They're gonna try it. Here comes Dragonite initiation, but defensive four staffs. The Alchemist was already facing away. So Fnatic had a pretty in way. Angle like this, look at DJ's positioning. He's ready to pop that smoke. He throws out the avalanche, but Amar is a little bit quicker. Though, at the same time, the DJ did finger. blink backwards very nicely. Oh, he turned to break it. Nice pop back. At the same time, the Dragonite goes for the initiation, but it's Palos who comes through. Just managed to kill the Undying first. Armel almost dead, but he's going to jump down to his orb. Bramble actually hits the Monkey King, so he does manage to land. Wukong's man on the jabs. He's going to be terrorized, pushed out of it, tossed over to the Beast Man. Two man down. Palos hits the two man shot with coil. On top of that one, they're going to work on the TA or trying to. But TA's able to man fight up against Palos. Right? Is it quite enough? This the regen's the coming through. They're kiting on this TA. Palos keep it away. DJ, he's just gonna man fight the Templar assassin. Let Palos live, and DJ gets the kill. Palos cleans up the last one. Four dead on the side of OG. Buybacks not available for most. And Fnatic look to just keep their foot on OG's throat. DJ fusing vision to the maximum there. He, if he had gotten that four staff tree cut, I would have lost my sweet. goddamn mind. But the blink outs, the toss back, the combinations, DJ wasting so much of this money. He's just team. trying to go straight up to the high ground in the this jungle area. And Fnatic once again in the position, they get the tree cut onto the Monkey King. He's gonna be changed on in trouble. Armel shows up and they get the first damage. A one for one trade off, but immediate buyback from our tiny. They go back to the tombstone, deal with that. And now look at a chase after whoever from OG is still outside of their base. And that means Chew. Chew. <laughs> our mouth actually looking for more. Miss the coil. Eventually they do get Chew in that jungle area. This is Roshan. Yep. He up in 30, maybe Look they found them. So disciplined, just sticking together is fine. They can't lose the team fight. That's the way they feel anyway. BKB going off from Amar's Palace tries to go they the initiation. Pucks. They do manage to get the puck. A huge gun if they can get it. The Berserker's it's supposed to try to help him out. They're turning around. Roar goes out onto the Alchemist. Jatel throws his own Roar against the Templar Assassin. They have the Wukong's command out. They're trying to focus down Palace if they can. The Beastmaster goes down next. DJ jumping in and finishing.
Got the tempo and has it, but Palace already taking the damage. His first life is dead. DJ barely getting out inside the Wukong's command, but Armel gets the coil onto his bar. He no longer has BKB. Palace gonna show up on his second life and easily deal with him. The unstable concoction gets the extra stun onto BZM as well. They're letting nobody from OG get out of this one alive. They're gonna chase after for more and more. DJ Avalanche off the mark, but it doesn't matter. Two's gonna die next. They spot Taiga. He TPs away successfully. OG gonna have to use the rest of their buybacks and they will still be left in a four versus five. Double core buybacks for both teams here. Puck and Beast had to buy for Fnatic, a costly team fight victory. That said, they are Radiant's pushing the last racks here. And OG do not have Wukong, they do not have Tombstone. There it gets dropped fortified. actually. Dyer's bottom tower is under I don't think they can defend this without Wukong. Radiant's yeah, they did so much in their game. Under what a beautiful initiation to toss back, and there goes Amar. Dead 80 seconds, BZM. Curse Crown stunned up. Yurangi trying to find an opening to get some damage, but he just can't do it. BZM can be to a pulp, and Yurangi is just sitting there watching. Throws some damage on to DJ, but DJ again and again and again. Two man stun. Tossbacks all over the place. Fanatic. A clean victory here. Off of what was a bit of a shaky start the first 10 minutes, but the last 25, clean as hell for Fnatic. And look at Armel. Fnatic enjoy. They